Hello lovely children, I hope you are all well and I hope you've had a nice Easter weekend. I don't know if you would have eaten very many chocolate eggs or been on a little egg hunt but we did that and we made some hot cross buns in our house as well and we I told um, my children some Easter stories and we've been thinking lots about spring and new life so it's been a lovely sunny warm weekend which has felt like a very special time to spend with our family so I hope you are all happy and have enjoyed spending time with your family and have got up to lots of fun things. One of the things that we did do over the weekend was we made Easter bonnets and Rishi is going to come and show you the Easter bonnet that he made. Rishi would you like to come and say hello? Hi forest class. Oh uh, look so on Rishi's a very very splendid Easter bonnet that he made which is full of flowers and on the back there's this and eggs thing. and even like a bird's nest at the top and, and a bird here there and a little bird there oh yeah that's amazing we we glued it on with a hot glue gun which we don't advise for you to do without the grown-up you did it you did it with a grown-up didn't you mm -hmm. okay would you like to read today's nature poem while you're here and you can mm -hmm. do it in your splendid hat so let's get that so everybody can see you. So make sure you're sitting clearly, but she's going to read the nature poem. This one quoted. is called Chuck, 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 and it's an Easter poem. Let's try and make it. Chuck, 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 Chuck. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. How many chickens have you got? Madam, I've got ten. Four of them are yellow, and four of them are brown, and two of them are speckled red. The nicest in the town. Very good. Thank you, Rishi, for Bye. reading that. Maybe you can read the nature poem again for us tomorrow. Okay, and the next day, and the next day. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you. Chuck, chuck, chuck. That was definitely a very easter she poem, wasn't it? Okay, right, so today I'm going to read you a story, another Julia Donaldson story, and it's called Superworm. I can't remember if I've read this story to you or not, but it is a fantastic story, so I'm really pleased about being able to read it again. So make sure you're sitting comfortably, make sure you can see me and you can hear me really well because I'm going to ask you to do something afterwards. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to say a special thank you to Holly for sending all of her fantastic work that she's been doing. I was really, really pleased to see that. And she also made a little video um, which was reading uh, the dinosaur book, wasn't it? It was reading a whole story. Um, to us doing what what I've been doing so we're going to try and load that up so you can see Holly reading a story too so thank you very much Holly that's really made me so happy seeing how much you're enjoying these lessons okay <coughs> super worm by Julia Donaldson super worm is super long super worm is super strong Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip, hip, hooray for Superworm! The bees are feeling bored today. They need a nice new game to play. Cheer up, bees. No need to mope. It's Superworm the skipping rope. Look, all well, the little bees are skipping over him. The beetle's fallen in the well. Is she drowning? Who can tell? No, not to panic. All is fine. It's Superworm the fishing line. <laughs> Look, he's being used to get the little beetle out. Then toads and beetles, bees and bugs, brother snails and sister slugs, uncle aunt and earwig aunt, clap and cheer and chant this chant. Super worm is super long, super worm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for super worm. Ooh, the chant is carried on the air to wizard lizard in his lair. He mutters in his servant's ear, find that worm and bring him here. The servant crow is black and grim. Everyone is scared of him. They all let out a fearful shriek to see the hero in his beak. What are they doing to him? The wizard waves his magic flower. Now, superworm, you're in my power. You must tunnel white and coil. 
and to find me treasure in the soil. Superworm is very cross to have a lizard as his boss, but when he tries to slink away, the wizard's magic makes him stay. Oh no. For days he tunnels, twists and winds, but all the treasure that he finds is two small buttons, half a cork, a toffee and a plastic fork. The lizard flicks an angry tail. Have one last try and if you fail to find that treasure down below, I'll feed you to my hungry crow. Oh no. The crow is flapping through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. They see him perch upon an oak and listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm is special treat. He'll be juicy, fat and firm. Hip hip hooray for superworm. <gasps> Action quickly at the double. Superworm's in frightful trouble. We must help him if we can. We must hatch a cunning plan. The garden creatures leave their home, carrying a honeycomb. They jump and fly and creep and crawl and creep and find the lizard fast asleep. They chew the petals off his flower to rob him of his magic power. The caterpillars fetch some leaves while busily the spider weaves. The web is strong, the web is tough. The web is plenty big enough. The wizard wakes. This isn't funny. I'm wrapped in leaves and stuck with honey. Then up the bees and beetles fly and lift the web into the sky. This is the place and bang, crash, thump. The wizard's in the rubbish dump. Ooh. And now from somewhere underground, there comes a distant rumbling sound. The earth begins to heave and then... <gasps> oh, Superworm is back again! Yay! Superworm the swing, the slide, the hula hoop, the fairground ride. Superworm, the belt, the hat, the crane, the train, the acrobat. Hmm. Then toads and beetles, bees and bugs, brother snails and sister slugs, uncle ant and earwig aunt, clap and cheer and chant this chant. Superworm is super long, superworm is super strong. Watch him wiggle, see him squirm. Hip hip hooray for superworm! Yay! Mm -hmm. That's a funny story, isn't it? Okay, who can remember some of the things that superworm can do? What are all the jobs that he can do? Can you remember at the beginning of the story? He's very important because he saves the beetle from falling down the well and he's used as a skipping rope for all the bees. And then at the back, he's the swing and a slide and a hula hoop and a fairground ride. And he's a belt and a hat for a little mole and a crane lifting up sticks for a little beetle and a train and even an acrobat so he provides lots of entertainment and he's very useful right what i would like you to do today is i'd like you to do a little um fact file for all the things superworm could do so what i'd like you to do is you get a piece of paper just plain paper and fold it over i'll show you here yeah. So just a plain piece of white paper and then you can fold the, the paper over so it's like a little bit like a book and on the front I'd like you to write superworm a bit like this front cover and then you could draw a picture of him and then underneath you could write find out what he can do and then 
on the inside you should have you'll have two pages so one there and one there you can have a go at drawing all the different things superworm can do so you could do superworm a slide superworm a skipping rope superworm the hat superworm the train the acrobat rescuing Pete the fishing um, net rescuing the one in the um, well and all of the different things you might want to go back to the video and pause it and look at the picture from this book to see all of the different things superworm can do and then you'll have a little superworm fact file okay that is your task for today children have fun doing it remember to choose superworm is pink don't see any blue superworms you'll be using a pink color for the worm and if you're drawing any other creatures try and use the right colors okay have fun doing it and i'll see you again tomorrow bye children